Welcome to our lecture online. The next problem we're going to look at on this JE advanced test question set is something to do with waves and string harmonics. So let's read the problem. It says a horizontal stretched string fixed at two ends is vibrating in its fifth harmonic according to the equation y equals 0 .1, 0 0.01 meter times the sine of 62.8 per meters x times the cosine of 628 per second times t. Assuming pi is 3.14, the correct statement or statements is or are, and we have four possible statements. So which of those four are correct? It could be zero or all four. I don't know if they ever have a question when none of the statements are correct. So let's assume one to four statements are correct. All right, so let's make a drawing first. So we have two anchors and a stretched string. Now the fifth harmonic, what does that look like? Well, the first harmonic looks like this. So we have one, uh, we have one um, antinote, so to speak, and two notes. So that's the first harmonic. And then we add a half a wavelength to each, so we'll have five of those. So it's one, three, two, four, and five. I guess I'll make this one a little bit closer. There we go. So the first harmonic, second harmonic, third harmonic, fourth harmonic, fifth harmonic. So this is the fifth harmonic. That's what it looks like. So we have five antinodes and six notes. And I think there's a question about that, uh, or an answer. The number of notes is five, and that's of course not the case. There's six notes, so this is not a correct answer. Okay, now they tell us the length of the string is 0.25 meters. How can we tell by looking at that equation? Well, we need to write down the general equation. The general equation for a vibrating string looks as follows. It is equal to the amplitude times the sine of, that would be uh, kx, times the cosine of omega t. Now k is the wave number, and k is defined as 2 pi over lambda, and omega, the angle of frequency, is equal to 2 pi f. All right. So notice k and lambda, the wavelength, are associated with that. And notice that this is 2.5 lambda. So the length of the string is going to equal 2.5 wavelengths, because that's one wavelength, that's another wavelength, that's a half wavelength. So the length of the string is 2.5 wavelengths. So from this, we should be able to determine what the, um, what the length of the string is, because we're given the k. So let's take this equation right here, and we write it as lambda is equal to 2 pi divided by k. And so the 2 times pi, which is 3.14, divided by k, which is 62.8. And uh, so that would be uh, 6.28 divided by 62.8, and that would be equal to 0 0.1. All right, so the wavelength, that would be meters. 0.1 meters for one wavelength, and the length is 2.5 that, so L equals 2.5 times the wavelength, which is 2.5 times 0.1 meters, which is 0.25 meters. Oh, that should be small m. There we go. And it looks like part B, or answer B, is indeed correct. So that's one of the correct answers. All right. Part C. The maximum displacement of the midpoint of the string from its equilibrium position is 0 0.01. So the midpoint of the string would be right here, that's the midpoint. You can see that's where you have an antinode, and so the maximum displacement of the antinode would equal this, 0 0.01 meter. And yes, 0 0.01 meter is indeed correct. That is the maximum displacement, so that's correct. And what about the final part? The fundamental frequency is 100 hertz. The fundamental frequency. So that's the, um, the fundamental, which is the first harmonic. So fundamental means the first harmonic. So how do we determine the first harmonic? Well, we go back to the equation and we look at F. Now here F, 
the frequency is 628 per second. Hmm, but that is for the fifth harmonic. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We need to go to the single wavelength. So that means the first harmonic is where L is equal to a half a wavelength. So that's where L is equal to one half of a wavelength. All right, so since the wavelength is equal to 0 0.1 meter, oh, oh, I'll take that back. Um, the length is still the length, it's 0.25 meters, so that means the wavelength is equal to 2 times the length, and that would be equal to 2 times 0. Point, what's the length? 25 meters, 25 meters, which is equal to 0. 0.5 meters. So we're dealing with a wavelength that's 0. 0.5 meters in the case of having the first harmonic or the fundamental. We need the frequency. So we know that the frequency is equal to omega divided by 2 pi. So omega is equal to 628 divided by 2 pi, that's 2 times 3.14, which is equal to 628 divided by 6.28, which is equal to 100. So that's the frequency of the fifth harmonic, 100 hertz. But the fundamental frequency is going to be a different frequency because there we have a lot longer wavelength. Remember that velocity is equal to f times lambda, the frequency times lambda. The velocity is constant, so we have f1 lambda 1 equals f5 lambda 5, so the first harmonic versus the fifth harmonic. And notice on the first harmonic, or the fifth harmonic, we have 100 hertz and a wavelength of 0 0.1 meter. And over here we have a wavelength of 0 0.5 meters and therefore a frequency that's much slower, so that would be equal to 20 hertz. So the fundamental is 20 hertz, fifth harmonic is 100 hertz, so you can clearly see that this is not a correct answer. And we're done. So A and D are not correct answers, B and C are correct answers, and notice it takes a little while to get through that because what you need to do is you need to make a relationship visually with what's going on on the string. Realizing that the halfway point, that's where you have an antinode, so you have maximum displacement. You then use the general equation for which you get the wave number and the angular frequency. You get the definition of the, of the wave number, the definition of the angular frequency, which gives you the wavelength and which gives you the frequency. And so, yes, it does take a little time to get through it. Three minutes, you'll be hard pressed to get all the answers correct in the limited time. But that is how it's done. If the first harmonics are 100 hertz, then can you just assume that B can be correct? Right, right, you're right. So I didn't have to go through the rest of the process, but I just wanted to show that you can actually calculate the. Um, the first harmonic frequency, although you didn't have to do that because you realize already that the fifth harmonic was 100 hertz, so therefore the first harmonic could not be 100 hertz. Yep, you're right.